everyone. I'm here to show you an exercise on how to improve that lower squat. What I see a lot of people do whenever they're squatting is they do more of a hip hinge motion that looks kind of like this. And actually, my patient here has a great example. Let's see your, your squat. If you're facing me in squat and just the way that you've been doing it, go ahead. And so you can see she's not getting her bottom down very good. It's more of a hip hinge. It's more bringing her torso down and her thighs. Come on up. And so what we want to work towards is getting the bottom down and keeping the chest high and keeping balance. Because if she tries to get into my position right here, she's going to want to fall back. And that's because she doesn't have very good posterior chain strength. So way to progress her into getting that better squat is we're going to have her hold on to the counter here so that she's got a little bit of, of uh, something to hold on to, a way to offload so it's not so much effort on her backside and her muscles in her back. And then go ahead and go into that deep squat, keep your feet flat. And then slowly try to loosen your grip here. You can maybe let go all the way if you feel comfortable and then hold for a 10 count. So she's got the upper body pretty high here and it's a struggle. She's gonna start to turn red and sweat a little bit and she might need to kind of grip and let go, grip and let go. Just hang out in that difficult spot for 10 seconds and we'll do about 10 reps of this just to start working the muscles out in the lower squat range. The goal is gonna to be to progress into eventually going all the way up and down Real nice and smooth where you're getting that good squat and then eventually if you want to start adding weight you know getting the barbell on your back or some weights in your hands whatever it may be you can work into that but this is going to fix a lot of the muscle imbalances because what we found in this patient here is she's very quad dominant very back extensor dominant as well and we need to reverse that because it's causing some issues in the back and hips and, and a bunch of other issues it can lead into other different problems as well but we need to start here by fixing the glute strength at the lower end of the squat motion. Thanks.